Hello, my name is Alex Josh, and I'm an architect with, with the Microsoft Business Unit at NetApp. Today we're going to be talking about rapid provisioning. This is a core component of the NetApp Hyper-V Cloud Fast Track with Cisco program. It's PowerShell and OIP based, and we're going to be using the Cisco and the NetApp PowerShell toolkits. This is a technology preview, and we'll be shipping these products a little bit later this year. So we're going to start with Opalis here, and as you can see, it's a pretty complex workflow. We're going to get the workflow started here, and uh, then I'll explain as we go along the steps. So as before, we will uh, have this in a test window. And the first thing is a monitor object. And that monitor object is actually waiting for a system center uh, service manager request, which is a change, con change request. We've created a custom change request here for provisioning a new UCS plate. And we did this using the toolkit that comes with system center service manager. So this is our standard change request form, and we're just going to fill it out here. We're going to say a new UCS ho node. And uh, I'm out of coffee. No, wait, that's the wrong demo. Okay, so we're going to provision a, uh, a new UCS blade, and uh, we need more capacity. That's the reason. So normally you'd go through s several steps of approval and, and et cetera. Through so we're not going to show all that, but uh, that's all possible here. Um, so we've got a little custom form that we built to provision a, a UCS blade, and it asks for some for information like it wants to know the name of the parent template, um, and it wants to know uh, how big the disk should be and host name and things like that. Right. So standard information. Again, this is intentionally fairly simple, just to give you the concept of the way this should work. So we're going to go ahead and submit this now. And what's going to happen is that uh, once Opalis recognizes that this change request is not submitted, then the workflow will continue on to the next step. So it'll take you know a few seconds here for Opalis to query and figure out what's going on. Um, so this is the uh, UCS uh, manager here, and uh, we're going to bring this up just so we can see what's going on. Um, and now you can see it's picked up the change request and things are happening fairly quickly here. Um, basically what we're doing is we're going through and doing all the information that we need to to create a new uh, service profile um, inside the UCS manager here. And you can see that these are all these steps are all taking place in a palace and then in the UI um, over on the right hand side of the screen um, these these actions are being uh, represented. So you see that we have this new UCS node 1 and it's got HBAs and it has NICs in it. Um, and now if we open this up and we click on it um, you can see its uh, information. We're not going to go through all these screens here. Um, we have other demonstrations which show the screens and things like that. But um, we're going to bring the, the blade up now. Um, and we're actually, through the magic of video, fast forwarding a bit. Uh, there's a lot of post information and it has to go through and register itself. And there's some steps that uh, we're skipping here. So apologies for that, but just in the interest of time, we're going to skip ahead. And now what we're seeing is the UCS blade is going to boot. Um, windows and it's going to go into setup uh, here in just a second. So the image that we're booting from here is actually a cloned LUN, a cloned boot LUN. So inside the uh, workflow we created a clone of a master gold uh, boot image. We made this the boot LUN for um, this blade and now it's booting. And the, what you're seeing here is the um, standard Windows setup experience. Uh, now of course what we've done is we've actually edited the answer file um, for this file, for this blade, so that it'll come all the way up. Um, so that's a little extra trick that you can do, not required, but it just makes it a little bit uh, faster. Um, and that's actually in the workflow. And we'll, we'll provide a um, a white paper um, online just to kind of explain in detail the way this workflow works. Um, so now we're seeing the standard uh, Windows setup experience. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fast forward again because this is about a five minute process or Windows. Um, does standard UB type setup experience. And basically when the blade comes up and then we join it to the cluster, what we wind up with is a running cluster. So in our fast track submission, um, what we have is a four node cluster, which you see here. Um, and this is node number one. Um, inside this node, um, we're running Hyper-V and we have some VMs running here that are, that are, that are VMs in the middle cluster. We also have a cluster, uh, a cluster shared volume, um, which we can then provision VMs against. Um, so now in a separate workflow, we're going to provision VMs against this cluster shared volume. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this. It's a very simple workflow. Basically what we do is we clone a VHD within the running CSV. So here's the CSV here. Um, this is actually the second CSV, CSV2, it's called Volume 2. And now here's our new VHD called job1.vhd. It went by pretty quick, but it's a 133 gigabyte file and it cloned it in about a minute there. 
Um, now what we do is we call SCVMM and we ask SCVMM to create uh, the VM for us. So the VHD already exists, so we don't have to do that step. So what you can see is that the deploy file step 1.2 basically happened instantaneously. Um, so uh, again, we're going to fast forward through here a little bit um, in the interest of time, but um, but what you see is uh, SCVMM is now going through all the steps that it needs to do to customize the VM. Um, and here's the VM starting. So similar to the physical host, now we're seeing the the, the new Windows experience here. This is the the mini setup experience, right? Because again, this is also a sysprepped file. Um, and zooming ahead to the end here, what we see is we have a configured VM and it took about five minutes, well according to this, it's five minutes and 28 seconds to actually create and provision the VM. So there you have it, a very fast whirlwind tour uh, from a blank um, out of the box blade to provision blade running Windows to a member of a cluster to provisioning a VM all using Opalis, all completely automated using um, some of our underlying uh, management technologies. So thank you very much for, for listening, and uh, we'll see you again soon.